Hi Trinity friends, I'm here again with my friend Carol and with Cheetah and with Terry the pterodactyl and we're going to keep on talking a little bit more about that story of what happened after Jesus was raised from the dead and we're going to keep on talking about prayer a little bit because we have lots of questions about prayer. It, you know, all through the week uh, T Terry kept asking me more questions about prayer, and I said, "Well, we're going to keep reading the book, so we're going to we're going to talk about those questions." Okay, all right, all right. So here's the story. Jesus' friends were all together. Remember where they were? They were in a small room. Remember? Yeah. They locked the windows. They locked the doors. They were afraid. One friend said, I miss Jesus. I wish Jesus were here. I miss Jesus too, whispered another friend. Everybody talked about Jesus. They remembered all the things they had done with Jesus, like eating meals together. That was one of the big things that Jesus liked to do with his disciples and with other people. Jesus' friends talked and talked while they ate the bread. Suddenly, Jesus was in the room with them. Jesus looked at everyone. Jesus smiled and said, do you remember what he said? You're right. He said, peace to you. Peace be with you. You are so right. That's exactly what he said. Look, here I am. I am hungry. Jesus' friends were so happy to see him again. They laughed. They shared some bread and some fish. Then Jesus said to his friends, Go out and tell everyone that God loves them. Tell people here. Tell people there. Tell people the good news. Tell people to live in God's way. Then suddenly, Jesus was gone again. Jesus' friends looked at each other. Let's go, they shouted, and down the stairs they ran. They would tell everyone about God's love. Wow. Where did Jesus go? Jesus just disappeared from, him, from among them. But they would see him again. They would see him again. Yeah, yeah. Okay, so here we go. We are, again, looking at the book, Learning About Prayer by Louise Brock and Maureen Galvani. And I'm going to read the introduction again, and then we're going to look at some different questions of the ones we looked at last week. What is prayer? Prayer means spending time with God. When you spend time with a friend, you often talk. You also listen. Sometimes you just sit quietly together. We believe that praying to God is like that. It is like being with a very special kind of friend. This book will tell you more about what we mean by prayer. So here's a good prayer question. Who is prayer said to? Hmm. When we pray, we pray to God. Sometimes we begin as if we are speaking to a grand person. Oh, God. Sometimes we begin in the same way that people begin a letter. Now, how do you begin a letter? Dear God. That's how you begin a letter. Dear Sally. Dear Mom. You know, that's how you start a letter. And sometimes that's how people start prayer. Dear God. Sometimes we use a title. Words that say something about who God is. Oh, Lord, or Heavenly Father. Hmm? Those are some titles. There are many more ways we can talk about God. Yeah. Sometimes we begin with whatever we really want to say, and we believe that God will hear us. We speak to God in prayer with respect and trust. So respect means when we say, dear God, we know that we are talking to someone very, very important. And we trust because this story tells us that God loves 
everyone. God loves us, and so we don't have to be afraid when we go to God in prayer. We just trust that God is listening. What, what is it? What is it, Cheetah? Cheetah wants to know if it matters whether what you ask is big or small. Can it be really small? Oh, God hears all kinds of prayers, whether they're big prayers, like, God, let there be peace in the world, or whether they're very small prayers, like, God, help me fall asleep right now. Big prayers and small prayers, doesn't matter. Doesn't matter. Okay, another kind of prayer. Question is this. Do people have to learn prayers, or can they make them up? Hmm. We believe that prayer is what people say to God from the heart. Our own prayers are very important to God, even if the words don't seem very clever. We also use prayers that we learn in other ways. Prayers that we find in the Bible, and prayers written down by other Christians. Sometimes, we ask other Christians to pray for us. Uh, you know, people, people of all kinds of faiths can pray for us, by the way. All kinds of people can pray for us. And, you know, when we're talking about uh, prayers that are written down, there are some prayers that are very well known because they've been written down and people have been praying them for a long time. And this is one of them. This is a blessing you can say at meal times, and I bet you've heard this blessing. Thank you for the world so sweet. Thank you for the food we eat. Thank you for the birds that sing. Thank you, God, for everything. Amen. I do. We used to sing that as a family for blessing at the meal. Yeah, yeah. Lots of people, lots of people know that prayer. And there are other prayers like that that you might learn because they've been written down. But also, you can pray from the heart. You can use whatever words you want, and you can pray whatever's in your own heart. It doesn't have to be a special prayer that was written down, right? Okay. And remember, we learned last week that we do not have to sit in a special way Although there are lots of traditions all over the world by people of all different kinds of faiths about how they might pray. Some people get on their knees. Some people lie down on the ground. Some people fold their hands. Some people raise their hands. There are all kinds of ways people pray. Uh, but we learned a little bit last week about breath prayers. And we learned a little bit about using bubbles for prayer. And we're going to use bubbles for prayer again today. And remember, it's just getting nice outside, and you can go outside, and you can stay distant, and you can blow bubbles to your heart's content. And what I want you to think about when you blow these bubbles this week is it's just a special way of seeing prayer. And I want you to think of each bubble as a prayer. Think of each bubble as a prayer. And as they pop, think about those prayers going up to God. And as you blow bubbles and think about prayer like that, you might think of some prayers that you want those bubbles to be. Like if you see a prayer, you might say, God, I pray for my teachers. Or I pray for my friends. Or I thank you for the world. Or whatever prayer you have. And think of each of those bubbles as a prayer and watch them as they pop and go up to God. One more. Ah, that's a big prayer right there. That's a big one. Yes, yes. Okay, so I love that we are learning all of these fantastic ways to pray. We're going to keep talking about prayer next week. We, there are more questions in the book that we're going to look at. But right now, we're going to sing that song again. Yes, what is it? What is it? She has got one more question. Yeah? He says that some of his friends use a different name. They call 
the person they pray to, Allah or Jehovah, are they still praying to God? They are praying to God. Allah is a word that means Father, same way that we call, that Jesus called God Father. And so there are lots of different ways. Remember when we talked about how sometimes we talk to God with a title? Well, people of all different kinds of faiths and different kinds of ways of understanding God have titles that they use for God too. And so we are praying to God when we listen, when we, when we hear those uh, titles, we know that they are also praying to God and that they are honoring God's name with those titles, just the same as we are. Thank you for asking that. That is a very good question. Thank you. Thank you. Now, remember, we pray in trust because we know God loves us. And so we're going to sing that song that we learned last week again when Jesus said, Peace be with you, when he saw the disciples. And here it goes. Peace be with you, peace be with you, trust in me, trust in me. I will always love you, I will always love you. Jesus said, Jesus said. Now we're going to sing it again. Are you ready? Here we go. Peace be with you. Peace be with you. Trust in me. Trust in me. I will always love you. I will always love you. Jesus said, Jesus said. Thank you so much for being with us, and I hope you do some bubble prayers this week. We'll see you soon.